there's been a couple of posts this weekend about other celebrities talking about Britney Spears. I want to start off with this one that Jessica Simpson is talking about Britney just a little bit and Christina Aguilera. Britney was the nicest girl, but maybe Christina didn't need to have her security clear an entire hallway of staff and talent just so she could walk through. It was just a short clip, but it's funny to hear that somebody else is also saying that Christina Aguilera was a diva. I also hear now she's still a diva. And I'm not going on the whole Britney versus Christina Aguilera thing because they're completely different artists. Iggy Azalea was actually also in an interview recently answering somebody's question about if she would ever work with Britney again. Um, yes, I have been in touch. We talk on Instagram sometimes. She'll message me and I'll message her back and everything. Um, and would I be interested? Yes, of course. My collaboration with her is always one of my favorite collaborations. And I feel like, um, we've spoken about this before. Or I've spoken about this before. Like, I just feel like there was so much we wanted to do with it that we never got to, we never got to like do all we wanted to do. And I feel like I would Which love is to what, do it over. more or remix Yeah, or? just be out more, you know, like yeah. she was so limited, obviously. And, right. um, you know, and I just, now that she has like the ability to do it her way 100%, yep. I love Britney and she's so much more creative than what people give her credit for. Like what she did with Elton was amazing. And I, I would love to be part of more of anything that she had to do, especially when they're 100% like her own ideas. Me. So many artists that have met and worked with Britney absolutely adore her. Whatever Britney seems to touch, it just turns into an instant hit. Look at her song she did with Elton John. Or even her song that she did with Madonna. Unfortunately, with the song Pretty Girls that Iggy Azalea did with Britney, it did not go that far because it was not promoted like it should have been. And I know it's a lot of up and down with some people saying it sucked and some people saying that they liked it. Personally, I liked it and I think... If they actually got to promote it more, it would have went a lot further. I wanted to share this clip with you from Haley Jade, which is Eminem's daughter. She has a podcast and she's talking about Britney from when she shaved her head and everything. And she actually touches on a lot of good points. But that was, we kind of talked about this too, how it's so interesting with Britney Spears was perceived as being crazy or whatever her whole life when she was before she was in the conservatorship because of literally things that now are trendy to do. Like when she shaved her head, everybody was like, oh my God, she's got to be crazy. Something's wrong with her. And now it's like a known thing that people shave or cut their hair to feel like they're losing trauma or feeling more free. And it's, I see it all the time on TikTok of people just shaving their whole head off. Yeah. And everyone's like, go off, you go. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, very much so celebrated now. Yeah. And which I think is a good thing. But with her, why was that such a bad, negative thing? I don't know. It was probably since we had such a lack of social media and you only saw, I feel like, celebrities in bits and pieces. And there was so much coverage on her taking the umbrella with, a car or paparazzi but okay i think about those instances and even like we were talking about the road rage thing imagine being pushed so far over and over again you're you're gonna... bound to snap and yeah. she was getting it from millions of people a day I can't imagine i just she's not wrong she's not wrong at all because if somebody did that now Nobody would bat an eyelash. Nothing. Even Pink likes Britney Spears. I had shared the article the other day that Pink did with people talking about different stuff and about Christina Aguilera and all that stuff. But this was the part where she was talking about Britney. Britney. Like, I've always felt like a big sister to her, even though people think I... But that line and don't let me get me was picking on Britney Spears. Actually, I was very supportive in Britney's life and 
she was always carrying around one of my CDs and like I felt I'm very protective of her and she's the sweetest person in the world I just and that sort of solidified my protector like big sister deal was being with her then and seeing who her team was and meeting her parents um yeah I just Brittany posted these to her Instagram the other night of her and her husband, Sam. I think it's the same picture, but maybe a little bit different lighting, or maybe they changed positions a little bit. The caption to go along with these posts is, the pics I've taken a while out with Hassam. I'm always looked just as tall or taller with him. So this pic was pretty interesting. He's like two heads taller than me. If you swipe, you will see what me and my assistant do in rainstorms, 80s nerd music. Don't be jealous of my skills. That's one reason I love Britney Spears is because she just seems like a genuine down to earth person and fame hasn't gotten to her head. Even before the whole conservative ship thing was going on, she was always quirky like that. I could, could you see yourself just dancing with her like that? I could see myself dancing like that with my friends or just by myself in front of the mirror. Brittany just posted this one today and says she, that she really wants to go here. And that is really cool. And that looks like a lot of fun. How beautiful would that be to see in real life? DMZ is reporting Britney's dogs got out and bit someone allegedly. Pause to read. Who is a new addition to the family? Her name is Portia, and she's meant to unconditionally love you. And it's going to be trained to protect you from any motherfucker that comes around you with bad intentions. Um, and who let the more dogs out? trouble, more trouble at Britney Spears house. I wonder if she'll sing that now. <laughs> who let the dogs out? Um, and well, this uh, you, we can laugh about her dogs getting out, except that it did uh, lead to someone getting bitten. Now, depending on who you speak, Speak to uh, Britney's Doberman Pinscher either bit someone or nipped someone. So they, she has two dogs with Sam, and they escape from her property. Um, what we were told is the fencing wasn't fully it wasn't fully fenced in, which is a problem. And the dogs not only escaped but ran five miles and eventually encountered a dude <laughs> on a cyclist. Bike. Yeah, it's definitely a problem for a 70-year-old man who was bicycling in Thousand Oaks, which is uh, the neighborhood area right by where Brittany lives. And apparently someone told, told us that what happened was he was on a bike and he saw the dogs coming up to him in a cul-de-sac, went to put his foot down so he didn't lose his balance, and that the Doberman bit him on the leg. Um, allegedly he went to, uh, urgent care and, you know, got the, the bite fixed and then filed a report with animal control who then called, uh, Britney Spears' people and basically gave her a warning saying, you know, you can't have your dogs running freely through the neighborhood. So she's saying, uh, that it was just an, or her people are saying it was just a nip, nip, bite, whatever it was. Um, bad. She, you can't have your dogs. She, she's responsible it. for it. Um, yeah. There is strict liability in California and most states for that. So if a dog bites a person, the owner of the dog, especially if it's out in public, um, violates the leash law, strict liability. Right. So she's going to have to pay for whatever this guy encountered, including if there is pain and suffering. Sam came out um, over the weekend and kind of made light of it and said, well, my dogs, our dogs kind of escaped. And they pulled a Forrest Gump. They just kept running and running and running and running and running. Which it would be funny if the dogs hadn't bitten slash nipped someone. 
I personally think it's very careless not to know where your pet is at all times. A pet is almost like a child. It gets out. It's unpredictable. You don't know what it might do. I know firsthand because my son was bitten by a dog. It's a traumatizing experience. Dog bites can result in an infection, rabies, cellulitis, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. So the one thing you didn't mention is that the dogs could get hit by a car. They ran five miles in this yeah. residential area. It sounds so like how fast did they take off running that they didn't get the dogs back? You know what I mean? Like, they just needed to get out of town. <laughs>